So guys, today we're going to be talking about the fragrances, perfumes that are so popular everywhere at the moment. But I really hate them, I can't stand them, I don't like them. So if you want to hear which of the popular perfumes they are, then definitely continue on watching. And I'm not looking forward to this video, but okay. Three, two, one, let's do this. Hi, my name is Monica Johan. On this channel, we talk about perfumes. So if you are interested in perfumes at all, then definitely subscribe to this channel. And usually my videos are much more positive, but today we just have to address some of the fragrances because I get asked about these all the time. Do I like them? I want to address it once for all. Good girl. <laughs> Where do I start with Good Girl by Carolina Herrera? Oh my gosh, this fragrance is a beast. If you want a fragrance that will literally make people try to avoid you, that might be the one because it's just so strong. Literally, somebody wore it um, at like a do somewhere. I don't want to reveal too much. And I was like, what smells so strong? I can't eat because my sense of smell is like not letting me taste the food it was so overpowering i just couldn't breathe and i finally asked who's wearing that fragrance because i was like mm, i want to move away from you <laughs> but i was like mm, you smell nice like but i really had to escape from this fragrance because i've got a very sensitive sense of smell but even in a crowded crowded place i just couldn't eat because it was so strong so that is one thing it's just so strong it's like killer i don't think anybody needs to smell that strong and then it's just so sweet and really don't like it and it's okay if you guys do like it because as i say wear it like wear whatever you want so do whatever you want but i'm just saying in my opinion it's just very generic everybody wears it so it doesn't have any uniqueness anymore and it's just cloying it just drags you down it doesn't let anybody breathe around you it's just like this is what in my what's in my mind when i smell it maybe i like some of the flankers that they released down the line but not my fave not my fave so far no now the second line line because it's a whole line i don't really like and i've talked about it before because people ask me why do you never talk about joe malone and honestly, I've tried their fragrances. I even considered um, buying their fragrances for my wedding, I remember. I think Fleur de Force was, she had like a special fragrance or like layering to fragrances. Um, she was doing that for her wedding day and I saw that vlog and I was like, oh, I'll go. And I went with my mom. But in the end, I just felt like they have no lasting power most of their fragrances um, they are very airy light and kind of not complex enough for me personally they just sm smell very literal there's not much perfumery aspect to me maybe there is but to my nose like there isn't too much like perfumer input that's literally like lime and basil or like peony and suede. It's very, it's kind of like all those molten brown uh, hand soaps. I'm going to get really, really hated for this. But you know, those scents, those like basic scents that you get in your hand soaps, that's what I feel like they do. And they do it well. And some people really uh, like that sort of scent, but I'm not that sort of person. I like deep, dark, mysterious fragrances. So the only one I really like is um, the chocolate. The one in a black bottle, it's like roses and something. That was, that one is kind of longer lasting and it's darker and it's, it makes sense to me. The other ones just because also they encourage layering and for that price, I'm not layering. I want a fragrance that 
will be layered already for me. At that price, I want a ready-made fragrance. I don't want to buy two to layer them and they won't last. I just won't do it. That's it. So that is my thing with Jo Malone, but I'm open and uh, maybe in the future I'll absolutely love them because my taste, they shift all the time. So who knows, maybe in half a year I'll love them. Next up is Joy from Dior. And I'm a big fan of Dior fragrances. I love most of the fragrances, men's and women's. So I was really looking forward to that launch and I really didn't like it. And I like the intense version more than the original release, but still not that much. To me, it's just, Dior is so known for like the poison line, like breaking the mold, doing something different, not caring what everybody else is doing. And this is just a safe, fragrance to me too safe for Dior. It's well made, like they don't put out anything that is not well made, but it's just meh, nothing to be excited about. It smells like tons of other things and I feel like designers have been playing it a bit safe, like everything smells the same. Not my fave. <laughs> Let me know what fragrances you don't like and everybody loves. That would be really interesting to read in the comments. And next is Lancome Idol. It's a new release. It's supposed to be like cool, hip. Many people love it. It's nice, but it's it smells like everything else. I'm sorry, but it does. It's just a safe bet. Like anybody could wear it, but it honestly smells a bit young. And I know they were marketing it towards like younger people with the case and the model that they chose but to me it's just again like a flowery pretty fragrance and yeah I'm not a big fan of those fragrances but it's nothing exciting and I just can't believe the hype of it nope next up we've got Lady Million and pretty much all of the flankers I don't know what it is I think it is the fact that many girls, when I moved to England and I was in high school, smelled like it, smelled of it. And I think it just reminds me of like, not being happy and like struggling with the language. And like, there's a lot more to it, I feel like, than the scent itself. But to me, it just smells very cheap. And if I had that money to spend on a fragrance, I would much rather buy like Ariana Grande Cloud or something like that. This maybe even cheaper, but smells so much greater and, and not so chemically. It, those fragrances to me, they smell very chemically um, and just more like a body spray than a perfume. So yeah, I would go with Ariana Grande Cloud or The Cloud any day over Lady Million and the Flankers. Although I really like uh, Olympia, Olympia Intense, Olympia Aqua, Olympia all the way. I love you Olympia. So that line I really like and I like the parallel Invictus line also for men that they did. Very well done. So I don't hate Boca Romana. I just dislike that line. Next we have to talk about Burberry. So Burberry Buddy and Burberry, the one with the bow. To me, they, I don't like many Burberry fragrances, actually not men's, not women's. I do kind of like the new For Her line, but the intense version more than the original release. But even that fragrance, it smells not as natural as some other designer fragrances. It just smells a tad cheap. It's beautiful, but it smells a tad cheap. Yeah, I don't have such an issue with that one, but with like the body and the other fragrances, I feel like they just smell, they smell like sweat to me or like very Kin like but not in a good way like bo but in a bad way i don't know if that's just my impression it's probably my impression because some people love those scents but to me it's just i can't like it's not a perfume to me i would honestly 
not wear it ever 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 it's not something that i would wear body spray like impulse from boots much over not that it's such a terrible thing but you know like it's not a perfume impulse body sprays i would wear that over perfume from burberry that smells so much more i just don't get it and i wish i did because many people do like it so I'll probably get a lot of hate for it. I'm sure there's many more fragrances that I don't like, but that's just what I thought of. Um, let me know what fragrances are very popular, but you don't like. That would be really interesting. I think we all have those fragrances that when we smell them, we're like, no, no, not again. So let me know down in the comments and I'll see you all again very, very soon, guys. Bye. <laughs>